No chase. Right. But when y'all man Teddy Carpenter, you ripped the motherfucker up again. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want to know how you feel being back on the big stage now. You know what I'm saying? How, how's that feeling, man? You know, to be back on the big on the big stage. Because you got, you were Cedric, you DL, you, you were the big boys again. Hey, let me hear your DC. This one is another one of y'all homeboys. This is straight up legend right here, man. This guy go back with me 20, 30 years. One of the coldest to do it. Hit the stage. One of DC's very own. One of the coldest to do it. Y'all show some love for Mr. Teddy Carpenter. Yeah, um, I mean, it feel good, but I'm a, I, I keep it 100, man. Yeah, come on, come on. I, 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 you know, you can swim in 12 feet all you want. When you do 18,000, 20,000, it's a rhythm to it. Okay, and you just that's real. And I had to get my, you know, we was in Atlanta, and I had to get that rhythm back. Mm -hmm. And, uh, bruh, it was the first time I walked off stage three minutes early. Oh, man. <laughs> Teddy's <laughs> was three minutes later, bro. Okay, that's all good. So, you, know, you, didn't feel, like, you didn't feel good? You didn't feel good? You know, <laughs> was that the first show? Was that the first, first show? show? Okay, okay, go ahead. It was the first, first show. Was show. So mm -hmm. I was like, you know, I'm a little off. But, you know, man, don't get me wrong. People was cool with mm -hmm. it, and the slot was cool, whatever the case be. But I didn't, I didn't leave. In the impression, I felt that right. I didn't leave any impression. This show was a little bit different. I got my rhythm back a little bit, whatever the case be. And then we go to Houston and Chicago, and I think they they're 18, 20,000, something like that. And so both of them places like you a lot. I mean, when, you know, when you were doing the thick, thick yeah, bigger theaters, yeah, you know, I'm that hoping. Chicago guy, come on, man, I'm hoping. Yeah, I'm hoping. Man, let me first, let, let me reverse a little bit. Let's go back. Um, how did you feel and what came of? You being on my on my show. You got a lot of views, man. One clip, goddamn near got three hundred fifty thousand views, homie. One clip, okay. And, other, and and your shows did very well compared to some of the bigger names. People seem to be really interested in, in you and what you've been up to. And you had got a lot of love up in that, you know. That's one of my favorite comic. Fuck Pierre. Why you ask those questions? You know, I mean, fuck you, <laughs> nigga. You know what I'm saying? I just want to ask questions. What you get? What I'm going with? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, that's bullshit. What's up here? Like, you know, it is what it is. I don't know. I, I'll be honest with you. I felt like I didn't get a chance to tell my story because it was. Okay. I know. I knew. Don't get me wrong. I know a little bit about TV, and I know you got to do this and get to this segment. Of the, but there was tie-ins. There was pieces. There was tie-ins. Something just happened just now in the hallway. And you, you probably, you probably wouldn't know it. You probably would if I, I say, right. you know, and he's like, what? Right. But you know, it, but it's no big deal. It's like it's not a, um, it's not something like even, even me and DL, our conversation. I know. He, guess, he where, guess where it came from? For me, he called me after the show. Yeah. A couple people called me after the show that we, you were talking about stuff. You know, one gave me but their version, say, or whatever. But they didn't but say they might gave you a version, but they didn't say it was wrong. They gave me their version. Exactly. <laughs> okay, they can't say it was wrong. They gave me their body. Because, me. I mean, you, 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 I mean, even our conversation, you know, we, we had to mend fences. So I'm to the point where I'm like, okay, at the end of the day, you're going to keep staying mad or you're going to try to mend fences. Mm -hmm. And he agreed, I agreed. And, and don't get me wrong, I don't know we'll ever be the friends that we were, right. but... I, I have no problem in the fences because I'm, I'm too old to be keeping Come on, man. With the Come on. No, 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 no. I didn't. And, and I know what you think. You know, and I, you know, like you said, we should do another sit down, and we will do another sit down. I promise you. Yeah, because, I, I think yeah. changes. Yeah. I think a few things have changed since then. I, at least in that direction. Okay. Let me just put it that way. Okay. And um, um, but at the same time, I, I, you know, I know a little bit about TV, and I know what you're trying to do. But I feel like I didn't get a chance to tell all of the story. Mm -hmm. It was a time constraint thing. And I think, you know, I'm willing to do that again, too. Right. Probably three or four weeks, a month ago, two months ago, I probably would have said, no, nah, I ain't trying. But now I'm like, yeah, you right. know, it's a, it's a, it's a, the chemistry is a little bit better. True. You know, we can talk, we can whatever. So. And, and let me tell you, tell you I'm, I'm, I, like you said, you, you straight to it. I'm straight. I was, it, the show was not about let me do negative on, 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 on I'll tell you, there was not. A lot of questions people asked me, ask, ask Teddy about this, ask Teddy about this, ask Teddy about this. Ask Teddy about this. Unfortunately, no, it, I knew it, you had to ask questions. Well, right. I, I had so, no problem. So I wanted that part to come yeah, out. Like, you know like, what I'm saying? You know, the thing about it is, I I, I don't care about that. I, I, I knew you was going to ask questions. Right. I, I, that, right. I mean, honestly, you wouldn't be do, really doing your job if you didn't. Well, sure, so sure, so sure. it wasn't that. It was, you know, let me get, let me tell you the actual 
actual story. And I, I feel like I had to give you the pieces and you know short pieces because of the time constraint. Mm -hmm. That's 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 it. Did, 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 did people did people <laughs> you laugh because I'm glad you laughed. Did people feel the interview was a certain way? Did they tell you personally? Can, can I tell you something? Come on, you know, brother. You know, you know, I, you know I haven't watched the interview. But I, mean, I know you may not watch it, but no, what no, no, say no to I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I had already in my mindset. I'm not watching it. The only thing I'm gonna do is read the comments. Wow. And then one day, you know, like two when it's no, um, you know, it's almost like watching a boxing match, and you okay. turn off the sound. Okay. You know, I didn't want. A, a, a dog in the fight. I wanted yeah. to watch it and see if it was objective and see if it was whatever the case be. So I have to let it go for a minute, right. read the comments or whatever the case be. I read some of the comments or whatever, mm -hmm. and it was it, a lot of them was favorable. Right. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of people was like, "Hey, we've been." Right. Blah, blah, blah. Now I, I would have said I, I did say this. I, I wanted you know everything that went up to at least have. Uh, my Instagram one there because I was trying to build so much. I see how how you build your. Um, but we, your we did put your we did put your number. Uh, uh, well, a couple of them I saw that, that didn't. No, nah, you know, no, we put yeah, uh, we, it's, uh, it's on there. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, now okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. But go no, ahead. no, no, that was it, man. Yeah. Outside of that. that so it. how do you feel? You back? Do you feel like you back now? You back? No, nah, man. You know what? I got to drop thirty five pounds. I gotta get a little bit more healthy and start eating like you. Right. I see some food you put up, you know, right, you right. know, and just get all of the. And for real, do I feel like I'm back? I feel like I'm getting the rhythm. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the rhythm. But see, you gotta understand. Since I've been doing this 37 years, I've never had a tour date over toured over five dates. Really? Never. Well, he, no. he, he, and even this right here is four dates. Well, well so right. you know, you know, don't get me wrong. You can go into, but you know, everybody has to. Everybody's vibing for my position. Like I, like literally, it, it was so many agents at the show last night. You know, you know, rolling their eyes at me and shit. Right. Right. Kind of, you know, they want their people in this spot. Of course, they they was like, how he get this spot? Right. But but Rick from uh, from you know. The promoter was right. like, "That's my man." That's what, and and he he's like, I, "I I got him. If he if he can knock it over the fence, I got him." And I was like, "Nigga, I'm gonna knock it over the fence." Here's what I liked, and I mean, I'm dead ass. You, when you left, not say left, whatever we don't want to call it, the hiatus that we didn't see you. Mm -hmm. I saw you doing big things, like you know, you were doing Def Jam. He was on me with Def Jam headline that big concert tours, and then I hadn't seen you for a while. I and mean, we talked about that and whatever clubs you were doing here and there. But then the fact that they put you back on with the big dogs. Yeah. That's a lot of trust in someone saying, I'm not starting you yeah. off the little club. I'm yeah. putting you on with the big dogs now yeah. on a tour. It's That's so much respect they had. Called me, I turned it down. I was like, man, I ain't doing no show in Fairfax. Because he said Fairfax. Right. I'm like, I ain't doing no show in Fairfax. Fuck, I want to do a show in Fairfax. Right, right, right. And, you know, it's like, nigga, yeah, this Rick. <laughs> like, nigga, you don't know me. Right, right, and right. I started, just, I was like, oh, shit, Rick, yeah, fuck all that shit I said. Right, 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 right. Like, You talking about Eagle Bank Arena. Right. I thought you was talking about a little club. Right, right. And right, Fat right, Facts. Right, right, uh, right. Yeah, I got you. Sitting up there whispering all this motherfucking money y'all done paid in here. I can't stand niggas from Virginia. Y'all get out here getting new mortgages and lose y'all's motherfucking sense ability around this motherfucker. But the first time somebody asks you where you from, you say D.C. Ain't that a bitch? How y'all not seen Backyard? Don't sing it. Oh, you know, we work for the government now. Don't sing it. You a GS-37, nigga. You should You don't sing Backyard anymore. Motherfuckers. Nah, man, to be glad. And now I like the pressure on you that you feel... You better, you better get them tires rolling. You better get, you better get that back. Cause you, you own the big boy now. You know, yeah, you know what I. But come on it's now. Odd, it's odd for me because, like yesterday, everything threw me off. Like mm -hmm. the, yesterday was the first time in in um, State Farm Arena holds twenty thousand. Right. It was the first time I went first. Oh yeah, yeah, it's different. It's different. I I never been first ever, mm -hmm. ever. So the cadence, the the dance, the. When I actually saw people still coming in, yeah, I was I've seen you. Man, that was yeah. mind blowing right. to me. Right. I, I'd never been from, but you know, I was like, hey. Yeah, well, at least they had, they had the lights on. I done shit with, with like Steve Harvey, no, the lights on. I've seen niggas sitting there. I'm like, come on, man. I got to see these half empty place masks. It was terrible. It threw me nah, off too, they, man. They, they did it right. I mean, he do it right. Like, I ain't even going to lie to you. The dude is, 
the dude, and then, you know, it's so funny because the reason we connect is because he's a he's a young black promoter, and he got a little juice by himself, but he's going up against Live Nation and different people who's trying to squeeze guys like him out. Right. So the same thing that you you know, happened to me, right, right. so he can identify yeah, yeah. That's so, dope. Well, look, man, I appreciate you have, having you on again, bro. Look, for real, Teddy, we want to sit down and do it again, man. I, appreciate I think you. we deserve to sit down and do a, a longer version and talk about some I'm other stuff. That, for real, for real? I'm done with that. All right, man. Again, I appreciate my man Teddy Carpenter. Y'all support it, man. It's called the No Chaser. Is it the Straight, straight No Chaser? <laughs> the rental. Well, well, Rick puts me on one of the No, he said it. He said it. Oh, yeah. He let you know. I ain't on this shit. So why should I remember? That, that's a Teddy Carpenter move right there, nigga. Fuck it. It ain't my name. But no. But no. Support that tour all over the country, man. It's got DL Cedric. Got my man here on it, man. A whole bunch of people on it, man. So support it. Earthquake is on it. Um, like I said, support the comedy show, man. Again, thanks so much. I'm going to have you on again. We're going to chop it up. Can I, again. Put, can I put my. Uh, Instagram. Do your thing, bro. No, I just want you to put it I'll up. put it up, man. I'll put the clip up in the corner. Yeah. And then what, Teddy Carpenter? At Teddy Carpenter? At Teddy Carpenter. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? That's a genius right there. No, you got it, man. All right, yeah, we out, man. Peace. See, we about to bring it on right now. We need that energy. We going into the new year lit up. This brother right here had one of the greatest years in comedy. He a legend. His special legendary ripped it down. He's DC's on. Yo, show some love for the one, the only, Earthquake. We got the legend at the time, man. Um, I haven't spoken to you, man, in a while, brother. You've been doing your thing. You on the tour, headlining it? No, I mean, it was DC, so it was ceremony. Oh, oh, was well, that what yeah. it was? Yeah, well, but, but you know I go back to the third spot tomorrow. No, no, no nigga. You had, you, but, but hold on. But, but it ain't easy to follow them dogs. You had DL up there. You had Seti up there. You had Grant. Come on, for real, dude. Well, I tell them all day, I mean, how many, how many followers you got is how many comedians you can follow if you're a comedian. I love so it. So it ain't how many followers you got is how many comedians can you follow. I love Stay there. Don't breathe till you done poked out there. Stay strong. I'm trying to work out, but this shit just ain't working out. How is that radio show doing, man? We're number one. Oh, we're doing good. Yeah, Sirius XM. Okay. Good. Okay. 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 Yeah. Cool. Cool. I'm happy to see you out there, man. I appreciate you doing my podcast the first uh, time out, man. Um, I gotta get you back, man. You know, bro. Come on. You know, you know. I'm fucking like this. Come on, swing it, motherfucker. You're a motherfucker. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna respect. Just stuff happens. I call you and we talk, and you like me. I'm gonna let it slide. Just period stuff, period stuff, you know what I'm saying? Oh, well, 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 you know, the, DC, the DC didn't come out today. I mean, you can't kill him. So, I don't practice fighting. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't play fight. No, no. no. Um, no you know I, what I'm yeah. saying? No, no, no. I'm not going to come off this hill for you. There you go. I came all the way from Southeast. Not for you. If I come off this hill, it's going to be worse. Now, you taught you you me a lesson there, man. You, you understand what I'm saying? No, 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 no. But, but I like the fact, the fact that people still love you, still moving in the group, man. Like, ain't nothing happening. Fuck that. What's up, DC? What's up? Good to be home, motherfuckers. It's good to be home. I know we ain't home. We ain't in D.C. This is Fairfax. You know? <laughs> I said, nigga, this is Virginia. <laughs> Niggas got to make a decision before they come out here. Uh, uh, nigga, I'm going, but I ain't driving. That's Virginia, nigga. That's a commonwealth. They lock niggas up that who don't have wealth. <laughs> it's good to be home, y'all. I got one first. No, never the boy on us. And with uh, Chris Rock and uh, Dave Spell, so they opened up the European market for us. Did they get the joke automatically? Yes, I was doing Because I was already made, so I'm like, I'm going to go ahead. Whatever I can grab out these 20000 that's my fans. That's what we're going to do. And what I, what I like about you, too, is like you went on someone else's kind of vibe. You know, Dia, I mean, uh, 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 Chris Rock and Chappelle has a different vibe than you. And for you to get that crowd, you gotta look at it as an opportunity. Usually, when you want to get your uh, international market on, start a little club, build it up. But to be introduced at the highest level, 